Hey Fritz. Hey Dad. Ready for some more X-Plane lessons? Yep. Okay, what are we gonna do today, Fritz? We're gonna practice to how to, to not stall. How to yeah, how to get out of a stall, right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what a stall is? Do you yeah. know like okay, so show me what happens when we stall. So if we go up mm -hmm. like this, like too high. Yeah. Or in whoops. Whoop. And our carpet flies off and no, then we that, die. No, that, that, that's not <laughs> that's not this doesn't that doesn't have a like okay so yeah what happens is we we lose lift when we go up yeah, too we, high yeah we lose lift and we start turning down all right we start turning down our engines like turn like all the way off uh -huh. you, you you can't turn them back on and then and you have to like, yeah. you go down but then you have to turn your level in for a while and then you can turn the engine so on. fritz the way to get out of a stall mm -hmm. and not break all your your lego plane mm -hmm. while you're doing it so it, the, we're going to practice stalling. So we're going to go up like this. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, is you, you, you go up for a ways, but then you lose power and then you start falling and you're going to like, you like fall like this, like, right? Like for like a so, they can't go upside okay, down. Okay, well listen to me, listen to me. This is what we're going to work on. Mm -hmm. So we're going to come up, okay? Mm -hmm. And then your plane's going to, it's going to like drop out of the sky, right? Mm -hmm. And the way to get out of a stall, Fritz, is, is you've got to turn yourself to where you're you're like this, not not like this. Mm -hmm. You even yourself out. You get some speed <laughs> without breaking your Lego plane. So when you're when you're dropping, you're gonna gain speed and then you're gonna pull up. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's how to that's how to get out of the stall. So the stall is you get up, so your plane's gonna, gonna go your plane's gonna go down like this, so and then you need to twist kinda yourself kinda, and then turn it's back kinda, up. Kinda, kinda act like a glider. It goes down and come it comes back up. Yeah, well, once you once you go down, you have to get speed. So see, that's why you can't stall near the ground because if you stall near the ground, you're just gonna crash. You're just gonna crash. That's right. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna practice with the Eclipse plane, right? The Eclipse mm -hmm. 550 is like really breaking today. All right, you ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right, well let's go. Well, it's because it's been playing. It's play. been playing around a little kind of bit. All right. All right, we're in our Eclipse 550, right, mm -hmm. Fritz? Yeah. And. Uh, we could just take off, but why don't we just throw ourselves in the air? This is real easy. Uh, so we're at Austin right now. And let's throw ourselves at, uh, I guess, 5,000 feet is good enough for you? Mm -hmm. 5,000 feet going at 200 knots. I'm going up like a million feet up in the air. And let's turn off the gears and the parking brakes. Okay, mm -hmm. and let me turn the thrust back on a little bit, and let's get ourselves flying normal. So right now, where we we're dropping, right according to our vertical speed indicator, right. So let's let me get it to where we are set, at least not dropping so much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna up the trim a little bit. Boop. Trim back down now. I hate the trim. The trim I don't about you. Really work. The, it, it works. It's just it it's a work. pain. It doesn't really do anything anyway. Yeah. It doesn't really do anything. Okay, so the stall, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the first stall. So I'm going to do the first one, mm -hmm. and I'll try to recover, and then I'll give it to you. Ready? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull straight up, and I'm going to go straight up. Uh, and I'm not, I don't want to, like, I don't want to come all the way back around. I don't want to do a loop-de-loop, -loop, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to go straight up. So that means that that you see the tick marks where it says 10, 20, 30 on the artificial horizon. Mm -hmm. See the 10, 20, 30? I'm going to get it to 90 at least. That's, that's straight up. I want to go straight up, right? straight up? Yeah, it should be straight up. I hope so. We'll figure it out. Ready? We'll find that out real quick. Oh, it doesn't go up. Should not 45 be straight up and then... It's and then I'm um, straight up back, kind of like backwards tilting. There we go. And I, okay, I'm having trouble keeping it. Nice. Okay, now I'm stalling because I'm only going to 20 knots, 10 knots, zero. Okay, I, my hands off the controls. All right, I need to right myself first thing. And then I pull myself back up. That's it. So that's an easy stall recover, right? Mm -hmm. So that's not, you don't, is that, that not that hard? And in fact, it looks like I ended up with a lot more altitude than I did when I started this lesson. Mm -hmm. I'm at uh, 6,240 feet. All right? Say it one more time. Ready? Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. 
I want to hold it there. I don't want to go upside down. I think um dad, you know what I think? I think when you um when you go to 90, it's it's probably you probably Well, not. this plane doesn't have it. All right, I'm stalling out. All right, um, I, I can't keep it, it up. But I think like 90 is like you're going up backwards. Okay. Going up backwards. So I stalled out completely. I'm letting the plane ride itself. And then I pull up. Now you got more. You got more. Yeah. Altitude. This plane's not that hard on the stall thing, is it? No. Alright, you ready to try this? Okay, Fritz is driving the plane now, right, Fritz? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna stall. You're gonna stall out? Mm hmm. Don't go. Don't, don't do a loop de loop. Stay right there. Stay, stay right where the blue and the black meet. That's straight up. Okay, try to keep I'm it there. Stalling, no, I'm stalling. And you can feel it not pulling yourself up, right? Mm-hmm. Get some more speed. Okay, now knots, you're... 100 knots, 100 knots. 150, you should be good. Okay, so here's an experiment, Fritz. What would happen, like, let's say someone that doesn't know how to do a stall. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, the I think that the... What they would think they would keep doing is keep pulling up the whole time. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would happen if you just kept pulling up and you didn't let it go down? You want to try that and see what happens? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. And let me first stall. You're still going. You know, no, we keep, keep keep pulling up. And it's like the stall continues, right? Mm -hmm. So you're still stalling. But I'm gonna turn it. But it looks like I'm turning around. I'm coming back up. Yeah. This plane's not that hard in the stall, is it? No. It's pretty easy. You could probably hit the real world on. It's probably, probably a bit. Uh, you want to try, or, well, the good old fashioned is the Cessna. That's what they did the lessons on. All right, you want to try to stall that? Mm hmm. It's supposed to be, that one is supposed to be more realistic with the stalls. Mm hmm. All right, so let me throw you up in the air. So they always uh, practice on that one? Yeah. And all I'm going to put you at 100 knots on that one. Ooh, not 170. Okay, you ready? Yeah, you should be stalling now. Not too hard, right? Mm -hmm. You're stalling out now. When you get in a turn like that, it's kind of harder to keep you from stalling. To keep it together? Yeah, because it's a propeller. The stalling is, you know, I, I think on the simulator, really not that hard. Mm -hmm. I think it would be really scary in, in real life, though, to practice this, yeah. right? Because then you feel really out of control. I think I think that's why they do it first in real life. So then you're not scared to, like, oh, I'm... You don't want to do that because in the simulator this is kind of easy. It, it's very difficult to stall it out, almost, right? So in real life, it's kind of easy. All right. Well, I think we're done with this lesson, right, Fritz? Yep. Okay. Well, we'll see y'all back later, right, Fritz? Bye. Bye.